There were three ways that David fed the traveler. The first thing the Bible says about his failure was this. Here's how you feed the traveler. When the kings went to war, David stayed home. It actually says, and when the kings went to, home, went to war, David said, y'all go fight. I'm going to stay in my bedroom. In other words, you know, you know the rest of the story. He walked out on the balcony. Look down, Bathsheba, I mean, that should have been a hint. Bathsheba. Bathsheba. And he looks down and sees her taking a bath. And, and there again, there it is, that's the traveler. Now, now, now if he'd have just flipped, if he'd have took the remote control. Where's TBN? <laughs> I need TBN right now. But, 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 but notice, he was, where did it all start though? When the kings went to war, he had a civilian spirit. Let somebody else fight. Let somebody else praise. Let somebody else pray. Let somebody else fast. Let somebody else do devotions. I don't have to do that. But this is an hour when kings have to go to war. You're kings and priests unto God. And man, if you're going to win, there's so much negative stuff coming at you at work and problems and trials and family and everything else. If you're going to win this battle, you're going to have to get up and go to war every day and say, the enemy's not going to control my level of thinking this day. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Every time you get messed up bad by sin, you will find yourself somewhere you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. A blind man can beat you up anytime he wants to. All he's got to do is turn the light out. He will beat the daylights out of you. You don't know why? You're on his turf. And Satan is the prince of darkness. And he says, let me get you on my turf in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong people and I will mess you up. Who are you hanging out with? Your friends are a photograph of your future. Secondly, let me give you this. He looked at Bathsheba and it, doesn't, it wasn't that he just looked, he kept on looking. He kept on do you know that uh, the high priest had three gates he had to open every morning? The outer gate, the inner gate, and the Holy of Holies. Three gates he had to unlock to get into the temple. And do you know you have three gates that you need to really, really, really control what you open them to? The eye gate that leads into your spirit. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6 that if your eye is pure, your whole body is filled with light. If your eye is dark, if it's filled with darkness, then darkness fills your whole body. What are you looking at? David had to learn, I will set no unclean thing before my eyes. What are you looking at? The eye gate, the eye gate, the ear gate. What are you listening to? Are you listening? Are you listening to music that is musical pornography? I believe and love all kinds of music. Again, I, I, I majored in music in school. I love classical. I love jazz. I love I love it all. And, and I can listen. I love some rock. I do. I do. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I like some rock. I go to some concerts, but I, I, I watch what the message is. I don't think you have to be a freak to serve Jesus. I think you can celebrate life and celebrate love and have fun. But at the, and, and some of you, he gave them wrong. And you listen to what kind of country stuff you listening to? Cheat on her, drink a beer, give me a marker. What's the difference? Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. I'm almost done. I got one more point. The ear gate, the mouth gate, the mouth gate. What are you saying? And you want victory up here? Speak the word of God. Speak the word of God. I speak it over you. I once, I once heard a story that I've never forgotten. I've shared it before here. But a man went to his pastor. He said, Pastor, since I gave my heart to the Lord, 
I mean, it was never a struggle until I got really good and saved. And now he said, it feels like there's a war internally in my mind every day, good and bad. He said, there's a, there, there, there's a, there's a black dog and a white dog and one represents the, the, the dark side of, of, of who I used to be and the old habits and the old life and the other represents the newness of light and life that comes through Jesus. He said, Pastor, every day those two dogs are going at each other and it feels like they're ripping each other to pieces. And the wise pastor said, tell me something. Which dog wins the fight? The good or the bad? He said, the dog I feed the most wins the fight. And if you feed on lust and you feed on porn and you feed on evil and you feed on this and you feed on gossip and you feed on negativism and you feed on past failure and defeat and yes, you don't sweep the ashes out of yesterday's mistakes, then guess what? That dog will win every time. But if you feed on the word and you feed on worship and you feed on good things and whatsoever things are good, then guess what? That dog will win the fight. And, and, it's, and it's like at first when you first get say it's like driving straight drive you start out it's a discipline you got oh god this is I, but the more you do it if you do it daily you keep renewing your mind in the word of god this is how you walk in victory and it's not i can't do that anymore i can't i don't want that anymore i'm not even thinking about that i'm not it's not even a, it's not even a struggle for me anymore Stand up on your feet, lift up your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for a free mind. Come on. I thank you for a delivered mind.